Hello, in this video we have this problem. We have k times k times k plus k equals 30 and we are solving for the value of k, both complex and real. So what we are going to do is to just recopy the problem. We have k times k times k, that is k to the power of 3 plus k and we can bring this over here. We have minus 30, this equals 0. So this becomes a cubic equation and we have to solve it. So what can we do at this point? We can have it as k power 3 plus k and instead of negative 30 here, we can have negative 27 minus 3 and this equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do is we have k power 3 plus k minus instead of this 27 we can rewrite it as 3 to the power of 3 so that it will correspond with the k power 3 that we have here then we have minus 3 and this equals 0 so if you look at the equation that we have now we have here k power 3 we have 3 power 3 and here we have k and here we have 3 so we are going to combine the ones with the powers of 3 so we can have k power 3 minus 3 power 3 then let's combine this and 3 we have plus k minus 3 and this equals 0 so right now we need to employ this identity if you have a power 3 minus b power 3 this equals we are going to have a minus b into you have a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2 so from this given identity here a equals this k here and b equals 3 so let's insert it into this particular identity so we have a minus b so we are going to have k minus 3 then here we have into a squared that will give us k squared we have plus a b we are going to have k times 3 that is 3 k and we have b squared then we have 3 power 2 and remember we still have plus k minus 3 and this equals 0 so we can rearrange everything here we can have it as k minus 3 into we have k squared plus 3k here we have plus 9 and we have plus k minus 3 and this equals 0 so what we are going to do is we have k minus 3 here and we have k minus 3 here so we can factor that out so let's write it out k minus 3 then we have this if you divide what we have here by k minus 3 we are simply going to get k squared plus 3k plus 9 then if you divide this by k minus 3 we are simply going to have plus 1 so let me make use of square bracket here and this equals 0 so what we are going to do is if we rewrite this again we are going to have k minus 3 into we have k squared plus 3k plus we have 9 this is just plus 1 and this equals 0 so this will give us we can have it as k minus 3 then we have into k squared plus 3k plus 10 that is 9 plus 1 and this equals 0 so at this point we are going to have two different equations we are going to have k minus 3 equals 0 or we have 
k squared plus 3k plus 10 equals 0. So let's start with the linear equation that is this one here. If you have k minus 3 equals 0, from there you have k equals 3. So this is a real solution for k. Now we need to solve this other quadratic equation to find the other solutions. So I'm going to write it here. We have k power 2 plus 3k plus 10 equals 0. So at this point, we make use of the quadratic formula. We have k equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. And from this quadratic equation here, we have a equals the coefficient of k squared, that is 1. B equals the coefficient of k, that is 3. And C equals the constant, that is 10. So let's fix it off there. Let's just fix them into this formula. We have k equals negative B. We are going to have negative into 3 plus or minus the square root of B squared, that is 3 power 2 minus 4 into a that is into 1 then into what again c 10 all divided by 2a we have 2 into 1 so we go on again so we have k equals this that is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared that is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 10 that is 40 divided by 2 times 1 that is 2 so we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 is simply negative 31 we have divided by 2 so we can have it as k equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 31 times square root of negative 1 because of this negative here then we have divided by 2 and it is obvious that the square root of negative 1 equals imaginary number i so we are going to replace it there we have k equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 31 times i divided by 2 so we have two solutions for k we have k equals negative 3 plus root of 31 times i divided by 2 or negative 3 minus root of 31 times i divided by 2. So these are all complex solutions for k. Now we have one real solution which is this. We had it before k equals 3. So the next thing we are going to do is we can as well check if this real solution will satisfy the equation we have check we had k equals 3 and recall we had the problem k times k times k plus k equals 30 we can only check for the real solution because we cannot actually check for complex solutions for now we are only going to check for the real solution so that means we are going to have 3 times 3 times 3 plus 3 equals 30 and 3 times 3 times 3 this is 27 plus 3 equals 30 and we have 27 plus 3 that is 30 equals 30 so that means that has actually satisfied the equation and the correct answer is k equals 3 that is for real and we have other complex solutions so that's it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.